Okay. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our new series where we troubleshoot your problems so that, well, we'll troubleshoot them and teach you how to troubleshoot them so that if you run into these problems, you know how to fix it. My name is Zero, and I'll be the detective on this case today. <laughs> okay, so this is actually a garment given to us by um, a viewer named Venera. I can't pronounce her last name, and I'd rather not butcher it, so I'm just going to call her Venera for now. She contacted me on uh, the comments and said that she has a problem with her garment. Whenever she tries to bake a texture to it, it's covered in black splotches or um, it gets covered in black splotches. And on top of that, uh, the front of it is tiled and the back is really big and solid. So the UV maps aren't loading up properly as they should be. Um, so... I thought that this would be a really good thing to show off to people when, in case you run into it because I ran into this a lot when I had started and I didn't know what to do until I just played around with it by and accidentally figured it out. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to figure out what's causing, the, show you the problem, um, show you the problem with the garment and then show you how to fix it so that when you run into it, you know what to do. <laughs> Sorry for looping there. All right, so first thing we're going to do is bake a texture to it so we can match the conditions that she had. So I'm going to click on the garment and then press tab and then turn on my screencast so you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to turn the icon into text that way. Where I click my click. Okay, ready? Okay, so now we're going to press t click on the garment. I'm going to press tab and then we're going to press A and select it all. Now, as you can see, these islands, the UV maps that make up the garment, are all over the place. And right off the bat, you can tell this is going to be the source of our problem. But let's first bake it, a uh, texture to it. That way we can see what happens when, you know, it's like this. So I'm just going to press bake. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch it over to uh, AO real quick. And I'm going to mess with the AO settings so that I can get a nice fast bake because I don't really care. Turn the samples down to 2. So this is not really for production and just for um, troubleshooting. We don't need to have it all the way up to like 20 something. And uh, with that said, we're just going to hit bake and then wait for this thing to bake. Baking time. I feel like I should be wearing one of those detective hats while we're doing this. <laughs> Maybe that should be a gift we give out with this new show. Yep. Nope. It finished baking. So I'm going to press the tab again and get out of edit mode so we can look at what's going on with the garment here. And you can clearly see where she was talking about the black splotches all over and how it's tiled in the front. But when you go into the back, it's a kind of solid, bigger texture here. And uh, yeah, that's no good. If we were to texture it as is, I'm pretty sure we'll get a really lousy result. So let's go over to fixing this. So whenever you get some sort of texture error like this, the first thing to assume is that it is something to do with the UV maps and how the uh, UV islands and how they're laid out, which is exactly what's wrong with this one. So let's go back into tab, press tab again, and go back into edit mode. And let's take a look at those UV islands. As you can see right here, they're overlapping dramatically. So it's like this part of the dress is here or there. It's too many parts. So how do we fix this? Now normally somebody will tell you, well you just press L over the UV map part here and then you press S and then you scale it down and make it all fit inside there, right? But, you know, with something as big as this or severely as overlapping like this, that would take way too long to sort through all this. So Blender actually has a feature here that makes it a little bit easier for you. So what you're going to do is press A well, you may have to press A twice to deselect everything. Then you're going to press A and highlight everything. So once it glow yellow, you have everything selected. And you're going to go down to the UVs menu. And you're going to press Pack Islands or press Control P. And it packed everything into the small UV box right here. So it was easier for you to manage. So when we do this, you see that we no longer have the black splotches over there. We have gray splotches, but that's because the sample count is so low and it's just reflecting the texture here. But even when you zoom in, you can see what she was going for here. You can see that it's all tiled up around here in small parts and it's big in the back. 
so we got first part the first part of the puzzle solved um the uh islands aren't overlapping each other so when we go to bake again so let's click this and then bake Doo -doo. it looks a little bit better than what it did before not by much but then again like i said the this is all my fault because of the low sample rate so let's see if we can fix it so that this tiles better the front tiles better with the back so what I'm going to need to do is bring in a texture, that way we can judge it a little bit better than what this is doing. So um, I'm just going to open a image and I'm going to navigate to my desktop, which has been recently cleaned, and find this floral pattern. Because whenever you try to do texture and things, I always think floral is the best way to go. So we have our floral texture put in, I'm going to press tab again and then assign that texture to this. So I'm just going to press tab and edit mode, oh sorry, tab on edit mode, bring up the UV thing and then we're just going to switch the picture to this. So now we have this texture on here. Alright, now let's go with scaling the island so that they line up prettier, like the front and the back line up. So what I'm going to do is press tab once more and go back into edit mode and I want to select the back. So we're going to hover our cursor over the back part we want to and we're going to press L. Ah, but you see, when we pressed L, it selected everything. And we're like, oh gosh, how do I select parts of this garment without selecting everything? Oh, I got it. I can just stay in edit mode and press C and then select everything, but that'll take forever. Or I can just press B and try to select everything gently. And no, no, no. I'm going to show you a great way to do it. So what you do in this case, when your mesh is all joined together, is we're going to do what's called, I guess, UV sync. And that's all the way over here into our second window over here. And we're going to press the, where is it? Oh, I forgot, I got to be in edit mode. <laughs> okay, so make sure you're in edit mode or else it won't come up. So you're going to go down here at the small box at the bottom. And there's a little box with an arrow selected to it. You're going to press that and you'll see that the islands come up. Now, if it was great, the like absolutely perfect universe, you could just press L and you can select um, the islands that way, but it's not. So we have to manually select the island. Um, so first things first is finding which island corresponds to which part on the mesh. And the fastest way I found is to just select face select and then click on the garment. <coughs> Okay, vertex looks geez, and click on the garment and see what lights up on the side. So we clicked on this the butt area here, and this is lighting up. So that means that all the um, what is it? All the mesh that corresponds on this part is right here. All that mesh data is right here. So we're just going to zoom in, and I'm going to press C, and I'm just going to select all of this. And as you see, the back is being selected as well. So, turn it over this way. Press C, and you can watch it all highlight. Isn't that cool? Now, if you feel like you selected something that has nothing to do with what you want, you could just press the middle mouse button in and roll it over and now deselect it. But just make sure you're not deselecting what you want. You can also use the uh, band select. So you just press B on your keyboard and you can select like that. And just press Control Z if you undo anything. Um, you can look at it on the model itself and then continue to select if you think you miss anything. Like right here, we missed this little corner. So I'm press C and I'm just going to select it all. Switch over to face. And then select it all over right here. And you see we got all the pieces. So let's look it over and make sure that we got everything that we want to select. Mm. Alright, I think that's everything. So we have everything we want and we're just going to press P and we can separate by selection so now this is its own thing or if you want it to this is a good way to assign it its own material then you can you know select through material uh, separate through material if you wanted to do that too that helps as well 
but I'm for right now I'm just gonna press P and then select by section that makes it a lot easier for me in the long run so what we are going to do now that we have our separate part we're gonna click on our back part press tab and then you can see our lone little island here waiting to be textured so I'm gonna press uh, oops sorry I'm press B and select it all and then press R and rotate it and just like a sewing pattern if you, you know you can press A and deselect it if the highlights getting on your way just like a sewing pattern we can grab it and roll it around on the map until it scales to where you want it if you want it to be uh, I guess a tighter tile you can just press S and then scale it up and you can make it bigger so when we look at it you can see is this lining up with it does it look right whoops what just oh I think I might have du did I dupe it yes I did duplicate it <laughs> my bad alright so let's click that again there we go and you can see that the tile works a little bit better than it did before so you just scale it up if you wanted to make it bigger or tighter tile to match better or you can press S and shrink it down if you want the texture to be bigger that was the case in the original one the back of the dress was so small that it was only stretched across a tiny part of the texture so we're just going to scale it back up to where we think it looks right and you could do the same thing for the rest of the pieces as well I accidentally selected the front of the dress so I would have to adjust that later but I think this is a better result than what was there so you would just do that for the rest of the dress and get it to where you want it I don't know what the creator's original design was so I can't say what scaled perfectly or not but I hope by watching this she'll be able to scale it and roll it across the fabric the way she thinks it looks right so that's it for this case we solved it the problem was the UV maps were overlapping each other and they were scaled um, they weren't scaled properly on a texture so that's how we fixed this one case closed <laughs> all right so if you guys have any other uh, problems that you know you may run into feel free to contact me and tell me in the comments if I think it's interesting enough or something I think a lot of people may have problem with or run into it we can put it on here and then solve the case together all right, so this has been Zero, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.